Hello Malaka Melty! Have a brilliant day to all of you! Welcome back again here in our channel! Shout out nga pala to all our 134 subscribers and 4.7 thousand viewers and likers! Thank you for your support in our YouTube blog! For this time, we have another topic to discuss today. This is again the online teacher blog and we have another short blog video which is entitled How to Apply at Philippine Air Force PAF for Officer and Soldier Candidate. A step-by-step -step process of PAF recruitment system. And this is our topic of the day. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell icon, like, share, and comment to our YouTube channel. Let's start now! So for the PAF recruitment system or the Philippine Air Force recruitment system, please read all the instructions carefully. Step 1. Applicants shall check if he or she meets the Philippine Air Force officer candidate and soldier candidate qualifications. If he or she meets all the qualifications in any of the two categories, proceed to step two. So the qualifications are must be a natural born citizen of the Republic of the Philippines. Number two, of good moral character. Number three, single, never been married, and never born or sired a child. Four, must have a barefoot height or not less than 152.4 centimeters or five feet for both male and female. For officer candidate, we have a baccalaureate degree holder. Age must not be less than 21 nor more than 29 years old upon appointment for so for, uh, i mean for soldier candidate k to 12 graduate uh, or at least 72 college units age must not be less than 18 nor more than 28 uh, i mean 26 years old upon appointment next step step 2 Applicants shall register to the online application at the PAF online recruitment system. Join now to create personal accounts, fill up application form, and upload the initial requirements. So if you will click the join now, it will navigate to the link or the URL which is https colon double slash recruitment dot airforce dot mail dot ph slash user slash login so upon clicking the join now it will navigate to this part which is the login form then you will put your username you can enter your username here in a blank space, then your password, then the CAPTCHA, then you can log in. Or what code is in the message. Alright, so let's have the step 3. Applicants shall wait for the confirmation from PFBMC prior to download the examination permit. Please check the PF online recruitment system and your email regularly. Step 4. Applicants shall wear white t-shirt and pants for soldier candidate and white polo shirt and pants for Philippine Air Force officer candidate and shall bring the following requirements during the day of examination. Exam permit original copy of TOR and PSA birth certificate. We have pencil mongol number two and two valid IDs. So this is the exam permit to be accomplished by authorized staff personnel only. So you can put your uh, 
they can put your name of the applicant, control number, date of birth, height, examination center, examination date and time, applicant signature, processors, signature above printed name, processing centers, or contact number. So a reproduction photocopy of this form is authorized. And you can attach here your latest 2x2 two two ID photo. Is It must be front facial close-up white background with your name and signature at the back of the photo. Then this is your transcript of record. So here are the example of the transcript of record or uh, TOR in college. Then we have the PSA birth certificate. So this is the Philippine Statistics Authority birth certificate, as you can see. We have Mongol number two is the qualified pencil for examination so that it can give you the best result. Then these are the valid IDs. You can have your Comelec ID, PhilHealth ID, Pag-ibig ID, SSS ID, or a passport ID, or any valid government ID that you have, then you can present to them. Then step five, two hours prior to actual examination of APSAT and PFGCT, the applicant shall directly report to the designated testing centers and undergo initial soldier candidate screening, limited physical examination. So these are the limited physical examination, obvious physical defor de uh, deformities. One cross eye, two bowed leg, knock le uh, need, crooked arm, locking finger, tattoo, ear, facial piercing, male, multiple ear facial piercing for female. So this is the crossed eye. We have isotropia, exotropia, hyperthropia, hypothropia. Then we have bow leg, knock leg. So these are bowed legs and as you can see these are the limited physical exa um, examination um, which is limited to the PE then we have crooked arm, cubitus, virus, normal and the valgus then we have locking finger so locking or maybe more is not accepted then the tattoo is prohibited also the multiple ear facial piercing female Step 6, the examination result will be published upon approval of GCPAF uh, passers will be notified accordingly. Notification mode, we have PAF website, text, messaging, and call uh, from CP numbers 0977045927 and 9096182320029. So st we have step 7, physical fitness test shall be conducted to those physic uh, successful passers for Philippine Air Force officer candidate at the FPMC CJVAV Baza City and to the designated processing centers to the soldier candidate. Step 8, successful passers will continue to undergo physical medical examination to designated PATH military treatment facility for officer candidate and for soldier candidate. For officer candidate, uh, they will go to Air Force General Hospital CJVAV Pasi City. Then for soldier candidate Luzon, we have Air Force General Hospital, Clark Air Base Hospital, ABAB Hospital, MDAAB Hospital, FAB Hospital, CERAB Hospital, in Visayas we have BGEAB Hospital, Mindanao EAAB Hospital. Then we have Step 9 successful passers who will undergo the physical and medical examinations shall submit the following requirements to the PE. FMC for Philippine Air Force officer candidate and to the designated processing centers for soldier candidates 10 days after the conduct of physical fitness test. Physical uh, Philippine Air Force officer candidate and soldier candidate requirements.
So these are the requirements for Philippine Air Force candidate and soldier candidate requirements. Number one, personal history statement or PHS original, 3 by 5 picture whole body original, then transcript of record or TOR and or diploma. PSA issued birth certificate, certificate of no marriage, barangay clearance, local police clearance, mayor's clearance, municipal clearance, uh, regional trial court clearance, provincial PNP clearance, C2 or R2 in BI clearance, PSA issued marriage contract of parents or PSA copy, affidavit of parents consent for 21 years old and below. Note long folder white blue tabbings. Then step 10, applicants who pass the physical and medical examination undergo a board interview to the following designated processing centers for officer candidate and for soldier candidate. For officer candidate, the PE, F, PMC Colonel, DSUs, Air Base, Pasay City, uh, is the one that they need to go for a uh, soldier candidate we have uh, for Luzon uh, PAF PMC CJ VAB PC then next is the 600th ABC cap or CAB Pampanga the 570th CTW ABAB Palawan 15th SWMDAAB Cavite, AETDC, FAB Lipa City, 710th SPOW Sarab or CERAB Tarlac, Visayas 560th ABG, BGEAB Magtan Cebu, we have Mindanao 3rd TOWEAB Sambuanga City. Step 11 to those who pass and belong to the allotted quota for that particular recruitment cycle will be notified accordingly. So the not notification mode of is or R I mean R is uh, PF website, text messaging and call for CP number 966 461713 and 0949596830. Zero 03. Step, uh, step 12. The applicants who successfully passed and selected for the Philippine Air Force officer candidate and basic military training for soldier candidate will over or will, will turn over to Air Education and Training and Doctrine Command AETDC. Fernando Air Base Lipa City Batangas for the conduct of LPE at Fernando Air Base Hospital prior to conduct training. So these are the minimum requirements for physical fitness test or F, uh, PFT event. We have male and female. We have category one, two, three for male and for female are the same category. So age category for uh, category one is 21 and below for category 2 we have 22 to 26 category 3 28 27 to 28 so for the push up two minutes sit up two minutes and 3.2 kilometer run so for male category 1 push up must be 31 repeats for category 2 30 repeats for male category 3 28 repeats for male also for female push up two minutes category 1 is 13 repeats for category 2 female 11 repeats category 3 9 repeats for set up two minutes for category 1 male 36 repeats category 2 35 repeats for male Category 3, 37 repeats for male. For female, set up 2 minutes, 23 repeats for category 1. Category 2 for female, 22 repeats. And category 3, 24 repeats. For male, 3.2 kilometer run. They should finish it at 18.14 minutes for category 1. 
Category 2, 18.44 minutes. Category 3, 20.14 minutes. For female, 3.2 kilometer run is 20.14 minutes. For category 1, category 2, 21.14 minutes. And category 3 for female is 22.59 minutes. So those are the PFT or physical fitness test that is or minimum required for puff. If you can go beyond, then that's much better. So this is the link for what we have today, the HTTPS double slash, I mean, HTTPS colon double, double slash recruitment dot air force dot mail dot ph slash. So this is the link that we have now. So you can go here so that you can um, navigate to the link so that you can go online application so thank you so much for watching uh, to the alpha and omega jesus christ be all the glory and adoration and praise this is again the online teacher blog see you again next time only here in our channel Bye!